Hey guys, Oscar Lover 131 here coming at you with the second part of my saltwater reef build. And this part I'm going to focus on my sump refugium and how I built it. Um, it's basically a 10 gallon tank with some acrylic pieces made into dividers with a filter sock. So um, I got some video of me actually making it which I'll go through with you guys. Um, first off I had the acrylic and um, I filmed the acrylic piece. I have um, teeth drilled into it. This is for the refugium so um, algae doesn't get past the baffle and into the pump. So you, you'll see me here drilling these teeth into the piece of acrylic with an air, uh, air powered um, grinder. And so that wor it works pretty well, but uh, a router would work or um, maybe other tools. Be sure to use eye protection because a lot of debris goes flying and I'm pretty sure I swallowed some pieces of acrylic. But anyways, on from there, what you want to do in your tank is you want to, first you want to thoroughly decide on the design that you're going to be using. Um, I, this was my third design that I made and I went over it with some other reef people, made sure that this would work in the long run, people with experience so they know what they're doing, and decided this would be the best option for me in a 10 gallon sump. So I went ahead and made my markings on the actual tank after making several diagrams on paint. So I finally did it and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw lines with a erasable marker exactly where you're going to be siliconing as a guide and then you're going to want to obviously um, clean off that area. This, the area should be clean first and then you're going to want to silicone the whole area that you will be putting the glass in or the acrylic in and then you're going to want to place your acrylic as you can see me doing here. I kind of messed up a little bit um, running the silicone up but that's no big deal. You could just wipe that off, wait for it to dry and then scrape it off but I went ahead and reapplied some more and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to let that sit, may, brace it if you have to at all and let that sit for I'd say a good 30 minutes for the uh, um, silicone to harden up nicely and then what I do is I run another bead over it and I wipe it down with my thumb so it's a nice smooth seal and it makes sure, make sure it's waterproof and you're going to want to do that for all of your baffles you could have um, one all the way up to like however many you want in a tank, but in this case I only have four. And then um, the after I got all my baffles in, I'm gonna wait 24 hours to water test it. I still haven't water tested it because I just finished it earlier today, but I went ahead and I made a um, filter sock holder which is um, kind of sketchy. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, but it's. Um, but I'll just leave it on until I get it actually running to see if it works or not. It's basically a acrylic sheet that I cut a square out to put the filter sock in, and then that wasn't enough, so I put, added a little support on it, which isn't too effective, but um, I just thought it might work, and this is all going through a trial and error phase. So that's about it for the sump. I'll do another episode of plumbing when I get the supplies to completely plumb the tank. And so thanks for watching, guys. I hope I've helped you out if you're planning a sump or a sump refugium for saltwater or freshwater. I um, hope this gave you some ideas. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.